Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that usually sparks a lot of debate, and that is, does the university you attend really matters when it comes to landing a job in the aerospace industry? Believe it or not, this is one of the most common questions that I get from people on YouTube, on Instagram, and on other social medias. So I wanted to sit down and take some time to tell you why, long story short, it really does not matter what university you attend. Let's debunk the myth and explore why your university doesn't really matter as much as you think it does. First and foremost, skills and knowledge matter a lot more. What truly matters in the aerospace industry or to the employer that you're applying for is the skills and knowledge that you're bringing to the table. Employers value practical skills, problem solving abilities, and a deep understanding of engineering principles. It's not really about where or what university you attended. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been an aerospace en engineer for about six years now, and I have been to a lot of interviews, I have interviewed people, and I can confidently tell you that not even once has anyone ever asked me what university I attended. Now, obviously, you do have to put your university name in your resume, However, employers, managers, or recruiters never really ask what university you went to. Point number two, industry experience is key. While university education provides a foundation, hands-on experience is a lot more important. For example, internships, projects, practical applications of your knowledge speak a lot more volume to your employers. We've seen many successful professionals who didn't really attend top tier universities like Harvard, Purdue, MIT, etc., but gained invaluable experience in the field. I personally went to Arizona State University. I didn't really go to a top tier aerospace university and I have gained a lot more information working in the field. Obviously my background as an aerospace engineering student was extremely important in helping me get internships in a full-time position. However, that doesn't really say a lot about you as an engineer more than your projects or your past experience, past experience, uh, internships. Point number three, networking, networking and connections. Yes, I know attending a prestigious university might give you a lot more opportunities to networking, but it's not really the only path. Networking in the airspace industry is not really that difficult. I think this industry is very small and building connections with other engineers, attending industry events or uh, reaching out to professionals can be just as impactful as attending networking opportunities at your university. So if you've attended a university that doesn't necessarily give you opportunities for networking, I really recommend that you build your LinkedIn account. I have had countless opportunities to talk to people, meet with them, um, get on a call with them um, from my LinkedIn. If you want some pointers about how to build your LinkedIn account, I will leave my LinkedIn in the description box if you wanna check it out. And if you want me to make a video about building a efficient, good LinkedIn profile, let me know in the comments below. Point number four, diverse paths lead to success. The truth is, no matter what anyone says, there's really no one size fits all formula. I know that a lot of you send me questions wanting me to give you a one <laughs> formula that will solve or answer all of your questions. The truth is that there is no such thing. Every individual takes different paths. Attending similar universities, or you might attend community college, or you might even pursue uh, your, your studies in another country. Success is really achievable through determination, hard work, and passion for the field. For example, I had to go to community college because when I moved to the United States, I was considered out of state and I really didn't want to pay $20,000 for tuition a semester. So I decided to attend community college because it was a lot cheaper. And then I transferred to a four year university. You, for example, you might be already straight into a four year university. So just because I did community college, it doesn't mean that's something you have to do and vice versa. So I believe having different paths when it comes to studying aerospace engineering is completely possible. 
and looks very different for different people. Point five, make sure you are focusing on your achievements and projects. Employers in the aerospace industry are more interested in what you can do, not where you came from or where you studied. Focus on building your strong portfolio of achievements, projects, uh, internships, your practical work can often be a lot more impressive to employers than the university name on your degree. I always tell this to students that are still in college, make sure you are highlighting your projects. Do not just go to school or go to class and think that that's going to get you a job. Try to get involved in certain projects, uh, certain, uh, I guess, I don't know, your rocketry club or something like that, and try to get internships. Even if you're a sophomore or you're just started college, I know a lot of people say, I am a freshman. How do I get an internship? Put yourself out there. You never know what happens. I was able to get an internship when I was a sophomore in college, which is very unheard of. And what I, all I did is that I went on LinkedIn, sent messages to people, and I attended the career fair, fair that was provided to us by Arizona State University. And I was able to get an internship. I had two internships when I was in university. And I can tell you more than anything, having internship experience has helped me a lot more in landing a full-time job after graduation. Okay, in conclusion, I'm what I want to say by this video is that the university you attend truly does not matter. No one cares what university you go to. Maybe you will have some opportunities that are better if you go to a prestigious university like Yale, Harvard, MIT, etc. But at the end of the day, when you're trying to get a job, no one really cares. So keep that in mind. And I hope that that helped answer some of your questions about what program you should go into. When I was considering programs, um, I cared more about tuition. So I was approved to a lot of universities. However, I really didn't want to be out of state and I didn't want to have a lot of student loans and I didn't want to have um, to pay $30,000 per semester per tuition. So I decided to go to Arizona State University and I can tell you that was the right choice for me. So when making decisions about what university you attend, keep in mind what it is you value. Is it tuition? Is it prestige? Is it the program? Those are all factors you have to take in when choosing universities. But at the end of the day, your employer does not care. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful in any way or informative, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also comment down below what university you went to. I'm so interested to see. I'm interested to see where you guys came from and what universities you attended. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.